Hello friends. So welcome to this new module that is module 3 where we have three parts polarization, laser and holography a small portion. So let us start with polarization. So what is the basic definition as you can all already see that I have drawn here a small experiment of for defining polarization process. So what is the basic definition of polarization? That is if there is an element from where we pass light and after passing of light if the light rays vibrates in only one direction that is they becomes unidirectional that is in this direction this is the direction of propagation if they becomes unidirectional then we say that the phenomenon of polarization has occurred the phenomenon of polarization helps in determining the transverse nature of light so now after having the basic definition of polarization in mind let us continue with the experiment for polarization and how to reach the conclusion of polarization as you all can see that i have drawn a small experimental setup what are this let me explain let this be the source of light s this is the unpolarized light the unpolarized light which falls on this crystal let this dotted lines be the optical axis or optic axis for these crystals this is the optic axis of these crystals that is the axis or the direction from or in which the light can pass through let these crystals be polarizable crystals that is tourmaline crystals remember this example by heart because this is an element which acts as a polarizer or helps in polarization of light so we can see we can observe that after passing through the tourmaline crystals that is let this be p1 that is polarizer 1 and let this be P2 that is polarizer 2. Let the axis be AB and this axis be CD. We can see that after passing through P1, the direction of light acts like this. That is, they vibrate only in one direction. Similarly, here also they vibrate in one direction. So this phenomena is known as polarization. These lights are plane polarized light. These are unpolarized lights and after passing through the tourmaline crystals that act as a polarizer, they become plane polarized light. So now we can see the observation of this experiment. If we rotate this crystal, the second crystal that is P2, the second polarizer, in this direction, we will see that the angle made by this axis, that is optic axis of this P1 and the angle made by the optic axis of P2, the angle between them varies. And hence, the amount of radiation, that is the intensity of radiation coming out, that is the emergent radiation from the polarizer P2 decreases slightly. And it goes on decreasing up to when the angle, let this angle between them be alpha. So up to when alpha equal to 90 degree. When alpha equal to 90 degree, when alpha equal to 90 degree then the emergent ray from p2 will be zero that is the intensity of the emergent ray that is the intensity of plane polarized light coming off from p2 becomes zero the explanation can be understood by a simple demonstration that is if we put a slate in a cardboard and we put another cardboard behind it and put a second slate in them and we have a source of light through here then the source of light 
only passes through that vibrates within this axis similarly if the axis of these slates are same then this outcome fully passes through it again if we rotate this axis and we transfer this axis into another axis then the intensity of light passing through the p2 decreases similarly if we rotate it by 90 degree then this is the angle of vibration of the plane polarized light coming out from p1 which cannot pass through this slit since the line is this way or the slit axis is this way or the optic axis has changed to 90 degree hence the amount of light that is the intensity coming out from p2 will be zero so this is the experiment of polarization so what this shows this shows that the light coming out from p1 that is this one the p1 tourmaline crystal is not symmetrical about the axis or the direction of propagation now the emergent light is confined to a particular plane and hence this phenomena this whole experiment phenomena is known as polarization since the emergent light is confined into a single plane whereas the source was confined into various planes so let me write down the conclusions that we infer from this experiment here are the conclusions of this experiment that is number one since the vibrations and planes of vibration or direction of vibration is included and it changes hence it proves that light that passes through it is transverse wave it is not the longitudinal wave like sound now since the a b axis or the polarizer p1 the crystal p1 determines that whether this light will be polarized or not and after polarizing the light it determines that the light passing through the axis cd is fully polarized or not hence ab is known as polarizer axis and cd is known as analyzer axis and the crystal p1 is known as polarizer and the crystal p2 is known as analyzer since it analyzes the polarized light that is already polarized light the of p1 that is the emergent polarized light coming out from p1 and get analyzed by p2 whether it is passing through the axis that is parallel to ab or it is not passing through the axis that is not parallel to ab hence this is known as the analyzer and this one known as the polarizer in this experiment so this proves that light is a transverse wave so after understanding the concept of polarization and the experiment and coming to the conclusion yeah. Let us now see how polarized light and unpolarized light may be represented or the peculiar representation of polarized and unpolarized light. So, if we represent a light by a dot, that is, this is the direction of propagation, and if we represent the light by dots in that line, it, repre it will represent the polarized light, that is, the vibration of polarization is like this, out from the plane of paper and similarly if this is the direction of propagation and we represent by a single arrow in that line this will also represent the polarization light that is polarized light since the direction of vibration is like this but if we represent the light by a dot as well as an arrow it will not be represented properly as polarized light as because we are representing here or we are showing here two directions that is this direction and this direction vibration so this is the pictorial representation of polarized and unpolarized light let us now define the plane of vibration and plane of polarization so let me draw the diagram for you all so this is the basic diagram for explaining the planes of vibration and polarization. Let me name them. So let us name them like this. This point as A, this is B, C and D. And let this be E, this is H, this is G and this is F. So this is E, F, G, H and a b c d so let 
the vibrations be perpendicular to this plane that is like this let this be the polarized light representation so we will be defining two quantities that is that is plane of vibration plane of vibration so what is plane of vibration so you will understand if i say that the plane of vibration is a b c d in this diagram so a b c d the plane in which the light is vibrating the light particles are vibrating after getting polarized from the polarizer so this plane is known as plane of vibration so the plane of vibration the plane contains direction of propagation of light and direction of vibration of light so the plane of vibration contains direction of propagation of light and the direction of vibration of light remember this is after getting polarized so this is our number one definition plane of vibration and now we will define plane of plane of polarization i think you have now understood what is plane of polarization you can guess the plane of polarization is here in the diagram e f g h so e f g h this plane is the plane of polarization that is perpendicular to the direction of vibration so this plane have the direction of direction of propagation and it is perpendicular that is perpendicular to the direction of vibration so this plane is known as the plane of polarization so friends this is the definition of plane of vibration and plane of polarization so now let us move on to next topic the small topic that is the classification of polarized light so other than plane polarized light which we have already studied we have circularly polarized light and elliptically polarized light so let me define very shortly that is what is circularly and elliptically polarized light in circularly polarized light the magnitude of light vectors remains same that is let me write it for you the magnitude of light vectors magnitude of light vectors remains same but the orientations change continuously that is the orientation change continuously so this was about the circularly polarized light what is elliptically polarized light in elliptically polarized light the orientation as well as the magnitude of light vary continuously that is orientation orientation and magnitude of light vectors vary continuously so this is the difference between circularly and elliptically polarized light so let me tell you how we can obtain circularly or elliptically polarized light number one point is we can obtain it by combining or by superposition superposition of two plane polarized light waves we can obtain it by superposition of two plane polarized light waves or number two we can use wave plates of special forms that is known as quarter wave plates quarter wave plates so by these two methods we can get circularly or elliptically polarized light that is other than plane polarized light
So friends, that's all for this video. In the next video, we will be continuing polarization with the methods of producing plain polarized light. Thank you.